Hi everybody. So, last night, as you know, I did the tutorial for what to wear on a candlelit picnic. Um, I'm actually not wearing my shirt and I'm just wearing a tank top. But, um, I know it's really early. You're like, oh, you're posting it at 3.41. Well, my boyfriend's actually on his way over and I don't want to do the vlog or do the tutorial in my makeup while he's here because he'd have to stay downstairs so anyway now um ignore the hair i'm still in the process of getting ready so you get to see me without my hair first anyway so to start off with i'm gonna prime my face because it's kind of kind of hot today, so I don't want the makeup sliding off, so we're just going to prime our face. Face all primed, including eyelids. Alright, um, candlelight is very helpful in covering up blemishes and stuff. It makes everything look even and kind of mysterious, but you still want to get rid of any major blemishes. So I'm concealing. Yes. Right down here. Yeah, it's right there. I'm in the middle of a tutorial. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, that's my dad. Or stepdad. My daddy. Okay. So, we're using our foundation brush, and we're just going to blend in our concealer. I'm going to do under my eyes and my eyelids. And, um, you can go without doing your eyes and stuff, but I found that my makeup will last longer if I do the concealer and powder on my eyes and under. Sometimes I skip it all together and I, the, the concealer all together on my eyes and I just powder, but it doesn't. And if you do that, you're going to need a primer. And I really don't feel like using my primer. Because, I mean, I've already got my concealer out, so. That's the point, right? Alright. Now, um, powder. This is just Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation. You know, and a powder brush.
as you can see, my face is kind of round, so I'm going to contour it today. Um, so I'm just using a really dark, or it's not really dark brown. It's a pretty, fairly dark shade of blush. Um, you can use foundation to do this, blush, as long as it's just three or four, I guess, shades darker than your skin. So for this, you don't want to get really dark. You want it just dark enough to where it's noticeable, but not to where they're like, hey, that's makeup, not. Okay, so I have contoured. this half of my face. Now, you can see a major difference already. Hang on, I'm going to look at it straight. I mean, okay, that's not contoured. Contoured. I mean, you can see a huge difference. This, this side looks thinner and more elegant, and this side I look like a 12 year old. So I'm just going to contour this side of my face now. So the candlelight, kind of blend in this a little bit. The candlelight is really going to help on the um, contouring. It'll make it look more defined, but also not so. You know, anyway, a little bit of a candlelight. Um, next, we're going to highlight. So. Find it. So I'm going to use this really light pinky color face cream for highlighting um, just because I think it's really pretty and I want to add a little bit of rosiness to me. So you get it on your powder brush that we were just using to contour and you smile and you apply it to the apples. Apples and brush back. Smile. Apples, apples, and brush back. Also, I'm going to apply it right here above your eyebrow, here above your eyebrow, on your nose, on your chin. Alright. So, that's our highlighting. Um, Okay, so 
So, now on to the eyes. I'm using Icicles Eye Color by Mary Kay. It's a, it's vanilla. And it's a cream to powder formula. You just apply it using your fingertip and voila. So, put a little bit of it on your finger and apply all over. And it's a really pretty white color, so. You don't want to put too much on because you want it to actually turn to powder. Instead of spraying cream, so. And, you know, apply a lot. Alright, now. I'm going to apply a little bit right here on the inner corner. So I'm going to kind of come in close so you can see what I'm doing. This is just to highlight this inner part right here also. Little bit on your finger. Inner corner. So this is what we have so far. It's, you know, kind of boring so far. Alright. Now, next. You don't want a really dark gray. I'm kind of going for more of a glittery kind of look today because the glitter will kind of reflect from the candlelight. So, just get a big brush. And, um, I'm going for grays and whites and blacks because that's kind of the theme I'm going for. So let's get this really pretty gray right here that I have. It is, I think I've already told you guys, because I think I used this the other day for the really quick one, Silver Satin, Mary Kay. Um, so that's what I want to use. And apply it to the out side half. Of our eye. And don't worry, we'll blend it in a second. Alright. So um, now it's for the crease. Where did it go? I just had it like 10 seconds ago. I just, I literally had it in my hand 10 seconds ago. Here it is. Okay. So, I'm using um, LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with Blush. It's black. With brush. And it is black. I'm just going to pull a little brush out and sit it down and stick my crease brush in there and get a little bit on it. We don't want, you know, a lot. But we also don't want too little. So, I'm just going to apply it to my crease. And once again, we're only going halfway for right now, so I'm going to bring it up a smidge. Okay, let's take a little brush and get some more. Okay, 
now. We're going to bring the black in the crease to the inner. We're going to the inner corner. And make sure you bring it up, not too much, just enough to where it doesn't just stay in there. And then the outside corner, bring it in a little bit at the bottom. What? Pause. I can't pause it. What? No, he's coming. Once again, stepdad or daddy. All right. Bring it in to the inner corner. To the outer corner, bring it in. Alright, now, it kind of looks a little bad right now, as it is. Oh, fridge. I think it's just, okay, no. And you guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, that looks really trashy. Just wait. <laughs> I know it does right now, but I do this a lot. It'll look great. Alright, so now we're going to use our eyeliner. Black eyeliner. You could use gray if you wanted, but I'm using black. And we're going to line our water lines. But we're only going to line the bottom. Okay, so just stop at half. Now this, what I'm doing, is going to open your eyes. Like, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to take white. Um, not a shimmery white, but, or yeah, I'm using a shimmery white. I'm actually using this white right here and we're using our angled eyeliner brush and we're going to apply it to the inner waterline like that as you can see you know that's kind of how it it looks really interesting. Alright. Now I want to set this black eyeliner with black eyeshadow. And it's just a matte coal, coal by Mary Kay. It'll just help it stick last longer. And it actually makes it look darker. So this is what I have. It looks it's starting to look neat, isn't it? And you're gonna be like, dang, why did I have to do that? Okay. So you want to make sure you don't get the eyeshadow in your eye when you do this. That hurts really, really bad, and it kind of waters the whole eye, and it gets rid of all the work you just did. All right. So we're still using our angled brush, and we're going to use the um, LA Colors Black Shimmery that we were just using for our crease. And we're going to get some on, and we're going to line right here. Now, I know it's really, really hard to get some of that eyeshadow out, so I'm going to shake and kind of dump it out into this, and it probably, probably wasted some, but I really don't care. <laughs> Alright, so just take it and... 
don't want this to be really dark, okay? This is supposed to just line it. That's why we're not using regular. You know what? I don't want to use the shimmery. I want to use the black that I used on my lower lash line, just the regular cold, so. more matte. Alright. Now I want to wing it out just a smidge. Like that. And this also helps open up your eyes too, so. And now wink. Alright, so make sure you clean off your brush and everything. And now we're going to take a finger and just kind of blend it. So it's not so harsh and such. And when I'm doing my eyeliner, you'll notice I'm blending upward. And I'm not pulling on my eyelids. So. Just FYI. Okay. Now, that is how we're doing our eyeshadow. trying to figure out what I'm going to do lip wise I don't really want to do the whole red thing like a lot of people do for Candlelit Picnics because that's like dang oh I almost forgot the mascara let's go ahead and put a mascara I just poked myself in the eye put a mascara on Now, when you do wing eyeliner, you, it makes your eyelashes look longer. If you're using regular eyeliner, like if you don't have, if you didn't want to do the black eyeshadow like I did, you could use regular eyeliner and it would make your lashes look bigger. Like you're wearing falsies, but you're not. So, this will look, it'll look sultry and mysterious and romantic. And it makes your eyes look bigger, which makes you look innocent. It's an innocent, kind of cutesy look, but it's also sexy at the same time. So, you can really get the best of both worlds here. I'm just going to go, um... I'm using this poppy, it's like a red, it's tinted lip balm, and I'm just going to put some more on my lips. I'm not going to um, put too much on because I don't want to have really, really red lips, but I'm not done yet, just be patient. You're probably thinking, oh my god, it's going to look horrible. 
I'm also going to use the apricot and slip on that I have. It's a brownish color. And apply it over. And to give me a little bit of shine. And this will also lighten it up a lot. So I'm just going to take my finger and apply it this way. Now, if you want your lips to look fuller, you can just apply the gloss right here and right here in the middle. That'll make your lips look fuller. There you go. Let me do that. I could possibly do that, but I don't want to do that. So, all right. So this is the look. It's a sweet, innocent, sexy look. So. so, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Wow, it's almost 30 minutes long. Of course, it could be because I was talking a lot and trying to find stuff. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go see if my boyfriend's here. So, bye.